Now we want to head out to the Los Angeles Country Club, of course, the site of the 2023 U.S. Open. Kyle Kraska, I wish I, you could have fit me in your pocket today. <laughs> yeah, Rough assignment. There. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it is a beautiful day out here, Marla. Thanks very much. Uh, and of course, one week from right now, they'll be wrapping up round one of the U.S. Open here at the L.A. Country Club. I got to tell you, from the entire day that we've spent here today, it is absolutely beautiful here. You can take a look back at the clubhouse and all the roses surrounding the clubhouse. We're actually standing on the very fairway here. This is the par five that I'm told is going to be an opportunity for golfers to score on this long par five. And we are adjacent to the 18th green that you can see right here and all this crazy rough that is surrounding it. We're going to get to that in just a moment, but I want to begin with the significance of today because today is the first day that fans are actually allowed to come out here to the LA Country Club. Uh, they've got a beautiful fan village that they've set up. It's absolutely beautiful as you walk through the gates and then of of course, there's the merchandise tent where everybody is going, and you can find absolutely everything you could possibly imagine with the U.S. Open logo attached to it. I spoke with Mary. She is the director of marketing here, and I asked her, what is the most sought-after item? We have 82,000 hats right now. Hopefully, we're going to sell them all. But everybody buys hats because, you know, they don't need to know what size, size their friend wears. We have great selection, either the official logo, the great LACC logo, or we have a lot of different art and graphics on the headwear. People love it. And tell me more about this logo, because as we were talking about a moment ago, there's something special about this particular logo. Sure. I mean, first of all, the club is very exclusive, and we have a great partnership with them. And they have that pennant on the golf course. So it's a double pennant, so we took the red one and just made it into the U.S. Open logo. And another thing that's really cool, Chaco, look at this. This is on the left is the Gucci bag of Sammy Davis Jr., of course, alongside Frank Sinatra. This is all part of the USGA Museum, and they are paying homage, as you can see, to Los Angeles and, of course, Hollywood. I spoke with Hillary. She's the director of the USGA Museum, and I asked her why it's so important to share the history of this great event with the fans. I think it provides people a tangible connection to the players and the moments uh, that we experience when we're watching on TV. You know, it's neat to see the nine iron from Matt Fitzpatrick that he used last year to win, and it's neat to see, you know, something from Happy Gilmore. It creates a connection that I think is a unique experience that the museum can offer to people.